What's up y'all, it's FTK Computer. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Today is one of those days where we're just gonna do a chill, let's talk about it kind of video. <laughs> um, I like doing these videos when things that are relevant to me and my YouTube Overwatch community come up. And if you've been following any of the Overwatch news source channels, you've seen that Jeff has recently uh, took questions from Overwatch streamers and YouTubers and uh, pro Overwatch gamers, I think. And he just answered their questions about things they had about the future of Overwatch, so like balance changes, skins, all that stuff. Um, but one question in particular caught my interest, and especially Jeff's answer. Um, so I feel we talk about that for a little while today. Um, so first, let me read the question. The question comes from Andy MGB, GMB, Andy GMB, who is a Symmetra main. And he, the question reads, Symmetra's infinite teleporter change was stated in the patch notes to make her TP less restricting. Many Symmetra players, myself included, who made use of the teleporter for dynamic team plays have found the hugely increased cooldown of the teleporter after it's destroyed to be incredibly punishing and actually more restricting than the short duration TP. The optimal play with an infinite teleporter ends up with it sitting in your spawn the whole game for reduced spawn time instead of making cool and awesome plays. Is there developer interest in looking at her teleporter again and possibly going back to a more dynamic, mobility encouraging TP on a less punishing cooldown? So Jeff responds, We talk about Symmetra a lot. I actually play lots of Sim. She might be one of my top DPS playtimes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, can't, I couldn't help but laugh because it's kind of funny. It's really tough with the TP. I do think the new TP version did open up opportunities for different kinds of plays, but I get what you're saying. We don't have immediate plans with her, but she gets quite a bit of discussion and the feedback is appreciated. <laughs> to me, that sounds like, no, we're not changing the teleporter. <laughs> Which, I, it's, it's weird because I do agree with what Andy said. However, I do like this TP better. I don't like the cooldown. I think the cooldown is way too long, but I do like the infinite longer range TP better than I liked the shorter one. Cause I just feel like Jeff is right. You can do more with it. Um, but the cool, because the cooldown is so severe, a lot of times if you mess up a teleporter play, your team separated, you ain't getting them back. Symmetra doesn't have any movement abilities. She doesn't really have any burst damage that's like reliable. So you're gonna die and it, it potentially just sets you back a whole nother 30 seconds. You know, I, <laughs> so yeah, but what I felt, so let me know your thoughts in the comments about the TP. Like, do you feel like this TP is better or did you prefer the other TP? Um, but what I also thought was interesting was Jeff coming out as a Symmetra main because I would have never guessed that some Jeff even played Symmetra, but only because it just seems like the Symmetra main, like Symmetra players in general are just so ignored by the Overwatch community. You know what I mean? It just seems like we're so ignored. I, I, I can't help but feel that way. And when it comes to Symmetra changes, it's like we're kept in the dark for so long. Even when it came to like, Symmetra has, now I will say Symmetra has had quite a bit of rework so the, they have put a lot into Symmetra but it kind of doesn't feel like they listen to people who play Symmetra when when it came to these changes or maybe they played Symmetra themselves and came up with their own ideas so I, I don't really know okay but one of the issues that I've consistently had with Symmetra in every every single iteration of her, you know, she's gone through three changes. She had the 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 give the team the 50 HP shields and the uh, the I think it was 75 and then it was 25 or 50. I don't even remember anymore. Um, then they had Symmetra version 2.0 where she could you know throw the um, the big Reinhardt shield and she had the shield generator and now we have Symmetra three. Point oh, where she can throw the turrets 
her ultimate has changed completely and the teleporter is on a cooldown. So, like, she's been through a lot. So, yes, the Overwatch team obviously cares about Symmetra somewhat. But one of the issues that I feel like Symmetra players have consistently had in Overwatch is that Symmetra is way too reliant on her team to to do well. And I get it because she's a utility hero and she always has been, but I think Overwatch banks too much on the potential of her utility because I think they're nervous that Symmetra could be this all-encompassing hero that does everything and a shit ton of damage. But because of that worry, she's never really been one of the viable heroes. Now, before people start coming in here and trying to lecture me talking about Symmetra's always been viable and she can do this and she can do... Listen, I've been playing Symmetra since day one, since I first got the game. I didn't start playing Symmetra, you know somewhere along down the line after she got a rework or because I saw Symmetra videos getting views on YouTube I didn't switch like I'm, I've been playing Symmetra since literally day one so don't be coming in here trying to tell me like oh Symmetra's good and she's in it like I, I know that you can use Symmetra and do well with her and have fun with her yes but I just feel like Symmetra has never really found her footing as a damage hero because her kit is still too focused on utility. I think now I'm even feeling the TP change as being more restricting because of the damage nerf that Symmetra has underwent. You know, before, yes, the cooldown was more restricted, but I felt as if, if I, uh, with a well-placed TP that nobody saw, I could get behind the enemy team, I could get a couple picks, uh, and if either die or get out of there, but still, even if I did die, my value was seen, you know. But now with the, the the nerf to her primary fire, the nerf to the turrets on console, like, I just feel like I'm struggling to get mediocre damage when you have all these other heroes that, like, get so much damage. Not only spam damage, but just also burst damage. You know, Symmetra doesn't really have a way to, like, a reliable way to finish off a target easily which would be fine if she had some kind of movement or defense ability or more health but she has none of those things so she's just always going to be seen as an easy target to kill you know now if Symmetra had an ult that could get four you know three four five picks like some of the other DPS then all that other stuff would be fine but her ult is a wall which doesn't really make sense because she doesn't do that much damage to begin with. So it's like you have these insanely high damage DPS that also can press a button and get three or four picks. But then Symmetra, who has to work super hard for damage, gets a, a defensive ult. Like, it, I, I have a hard time understanding why Blizzard doesn't see why that's an issue. You know, like why the development team doesn't see why that's an issue and why people are always going to prefer to have a DPS that can get kills over one that can potentially help the team get kills if they play a certain way. Like, it's just too roundabout and it, it, it doesn't really pan out in the long run. So, yeah, for Overwatch, I, I, I really doubt Symmetra is going to get another rework. Like, I, I don't think that's going to happen. And I, I honestly, I don't think she really needs one. I think her kit works fine, but the turret nerf was unacceptable. The damage nerf was also unacceptable because her range is so small and she doesn't really have, like she has to put herself at risk to even do damage to be that close. You know, a Reinhardt can take her out in a few swings. So like for her to be that close, to have to do damage, you would think that she would have some kind of defensive ability to to use to get out of there, but she doesn't. So, for Overwatch 2, can we not, can we get rid of the idea that Symmetra has, her kit has to solely be based around her utility? Can we make her a damage hero because that's where she is and that's what we want her to be so that she can be used in matches more often and not seen as a throw pick because her value is hard to access 
<laughs> so those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the current balance of Symmetra? I know I'm, I'm just kind of like, this isn't a, one of those videos where I'm like, okay, here, bullet point by bullet point of things that need to be changed with Symmetra, in my opinion. It's more of like an overarching theme that Symmet their, their obsession to make Symmetra a utility hero has just not panned out. And I feel like maybe take away some of that utility and actually give her some damage or some more health. That's what I'm thinking. So let me know you guys' thoughts. Do you think Jeff is really a Symmetra main? Do you think he really plays Symmetra um, a lot? I mean, I honestly believe him. I, I feel like he could. And I feel like in certain situations, you know, if you're playing on a team of six, we already know that the Overwatch matchmaking system isn't going to always pair you against six other people. So if your team is well coordinated and everyone knows exactly what they're doing with their heroes, I can see Symmetra being pretty viable. But that's just not the case, usually. You know what, Jeff? I would suggest playing Symmetra in solo queue for a, a, a couple weeks. Just to see what that's like. Because then I think you'll understand like why a lot of Symmetra players are just feel as if why the damage nerf? You know, why the ultimate nerf when it's just a wall? When other people can like just obliterate your whole team. It's like, oh, gotta nerf the wall, gotta nerf the turrets, gotta nerf her damage, like <laughs> gotta make the cool teleporter cool down. It's just like, mm. so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, uh, thank you guys so much for everyone who comes out on the weekends to play with me. Uh, but rem reminder, I'm going to start doing it eventually on Twitch. So follow me on Twitch. My name on Twitch is FTK Computer. No gaming at the end. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. I knew something was going to pop out. It was too quiet. Over there, another one. Where? How do you know? I can just sort of see them. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. What happened to your powers? I feel like he gonna grab me if I try to open the door. Oh, oh. Throw the break. Wait, oh, you gotta press Mom's two buttons. Just coming. <laughs> wow, I suck. Okay, well, let's. Careful! There's something on the floor. <gasps> That's the pus. I'm just waiting there. Oh, 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 oh my god. What's, wait. Okay, Nathalia, you could have told me that they were coming. You're kidding. Oh my god, it's like disfigured. Oh, he just slapped her.